got friends, only wanna talk business. I got expensive, cause when is expensive? I got expensive, cause when is expensive? I've been reading all the war. And I've been shutting down the stars. Yeah, cause when it rain, then it pours. Yeah, and I'm ready for some more. And welcome to Put That Coffee Down Here, live at the Net Zero Carbon Summit. It's been quite a day. If you're not familiar with Put That Coffee Down, this is a freight sales show that we do on Freight Waves TV every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And we talk about freight sales. We talk about carrier sales. We talk about shipper sales. We talk about freight tech sales. Just everything to do with sales. So I, it's, a, it's a great program. Uh, today we're going to talk, uh, of course, about the environment. It's Earth Day. We're here at the Net Zero Carbon Summit. It's been, uh, it's been a, a fantastic show so far. I mean, we've been talking about everything from carbon trading uh, to, uh, you know, alternative fuels. Uh, talking about planning, and this afternoon uh, it's just going to continue on. We're going to talk a little bit about technology right now, technology, and you know, I, I think the logistics world's gone under the, this digitization of, uh, in this democratization of technology, making things a bit simpler. We saw that with Sonar, the Sonar launch of Carbon Intelligence that, that we did earlier this morning, and we're going to talk with uh, Mustafa Azizi from uh, Zoom Transportation, he's the uh, co-founder and CEO over there. We're going to talk about platforms and talking about tracking emissions uh, and, and the technology that goes along with that. Uh, but it's a very important day. It's, it's Earth Day. Uh, you know, certainly part of the sales world is tailored around uh, protecting the environment, uh, you know, looking for really cleaner, more practical ways to, to, to move goods around uh, the, the world, you know, and that focuses really on this, the supply chain. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk a little bit about digitization and uh, with Mustafa, how are you doing today? Can you hear me well? I can, I can hear you just fine, just fine. So uh, yeah, can you uh, introduce yourself and um, Zoom Transportation? Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Mustafa. I'm the co-founder and um, CEO of Zoom Transportation. We're a logistics super platform that helps uh, stakeholders with capacity, the management of logistics, and also the visibility of it, the three pillars. Fantastic. And, and the last time you were on, you had a few books at this show. I'm just wondering if you have those props ready for you right now, if I can expect those, or... Uh, are we just going to talk about carbon emissions and, t and technology and really about reducing emissions in a meaningful way? And uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so uh, actually today it's kind of interesting. Uh, they actually let me screen share with you guys and show you some things actually in action of how we're helping organizations around the United States with uh, carbon footprint. Uh, so instead of the props today, I got walk the walk instead of talk the talk. Hey, that's even better. We got some screenshots. Let's uh, let, let's dig into those and, and see what we have there. Yeah. So can you actually see my screen right now? I we can. Yes. All right. So um, it's really important for our organization to move forward uh, for people outside of organ uh, our organization, and also inside our organization, to know our why. And ultimately, if we build a multi-billion dollar company, we want to make sure we help our communities and our environment as we go along. So one of the pillars of our organization is called the uh, Heal the Ozone Program. And it also, uh, it, it's kind of coupled and founded behind our um, corporate responsibility and kind of like saying, hey, um, you know, are we actually making this a better place by saving pollutions? A lot of people have already started building data platforms to measure carbon emissions, but essentially getting to there where you're actually saving carbon emissions, it's not such an easy solution because not only is there like measuring and visibility platforms of carbon emissions, but really let's say, for example, you didn't have any visibility platforms. If um, shippers and trucking companies work together to get rid of the empty miles and get more continuous movement, and you didn't have a visibility platform, then ultimately you would be saving 
millions of pounds of carbon emission. So what we've started to do with our company is we have three tools for all the stakeholders in the industry. Like we have our broker portal and we have our shipper portal, which kind of tells the shipper where most of their shipments and where their carbon emission is forming. But we've also built out our carrier portal. And our carrier portal, not only does it help them find loads and manage their business, but it's doing something secretly. It has something called a back call finder, as you can see here. And what it does is it connects that trucking company that our shipper deals with or we deal with with our marketplace to more shipments in the future. So therefore, to build the engine to actually get rid of the the um, empty miles and move towards continuous movement and route optimization is really going to come not from an AI platform of visibility, which we're starting to build out, but it's really going to come with um, the industry players working together. For example, some of the Fortune 100 corporations we're working with right now, they're really speaking to us like some of the largest car manufacturers about how they could combine their different lanes of shipment to get rid of empty miles, not only for the external fleets that we help them find or they manage directly with, but also their internal fleets because a lot of these manufacturers have fleets. Yeah, let's take a step back and talk about route optimization and, and empty miles and kind of that first step of, of solving that, that, that issue that, you know, as you said, tons and metric tons of carbon emissions uh, in, in empty miles. Uh, what are you guys doing uh, to, to solve, the, so, solve the issue of, of empty miles and route optimization? So if you know about the digital broker game, right, uh, mm -hmm. what makes a digital broker or a traditional brokerage successful is if they get more freight and more network synergy and get to critical mass. But there's a problem in that, right? Because if you have thousands of brokerages competing against each other in private data flows, then ultimately you're further fragmenting while trying to kind of monopolize for yourself. So with us, what we've decided to do is actually share our digital brokerage as a software platform to trucking companies and freight brokerages and ask them to bring their shipments into a global platform so we could all book freight together. And then that what that what we've done the same thing also with shippers. And what that does is at least invent or facilitate the first super platform that could actually go from cradle to the grave, all the way to the point that that shipment's delivered. And, and you know, you can only really do that with connected uh, te technology. And I, I think we're all getting to the point where uh, that has, has reached a tipping point to where th that that's really available to, to not only the, the largest players out there, but the smallest as well. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, you know, we have the technology. Uh, there's a lot of digital brokerages out there that spend five million, a hundred millions, a billion dollars to build five TMSers intersewn together and call themselves a marketplace. Mm -hmm. We can provide that for a brokerage with say 20 employees within five minutes through a platform we call the super admin. And if we can get them that digital brokerage and um, help them out with not paying those giant technology expenses then maybe we can convince them to share a piece of their data that is not so precious to them. Like, for example, if one broker has a load from Los Angeles to Vegas and another broker has a load from Vegas to L.A., how can we work those together to benefit the manufacturer to reduce their carbon footprint, but also for the trucking company so they can have less empty miles? Yeah, that's always it's really going to be a collaboration. Yeah, as a freight broker and running a freight broker, it's, just, it's you know the backhaul portion that that round trip is is always uh, the, the kind of the holy grail, right? That is what you're really looking at, and whether you're trying to eliminate carbon emissions or not, that that's what happens, right? Exactly. Just hypothetically think, if the Fortune 100 put all their lanes in one big lane file, and then all the trucking companies got together and price that together, then ultimately you'd have more closed loops than ever. There's really no business model or platform that even wants to go on that because it opens this chapter of so much conflict. 
um, between the different businesses, but we really want to tra- challenge the status quo. And the thing that we bring to the table to help us even open up that debate is that we will share our most precious commodity, which is our technology day one with the smallest of stakeholder or the largest at a fraction of the cost of what they would spend to build it on their own or to maintain. As you roll out to the different apps and different technologies in Zoom, I mean, what's, what's coming around the corner? I mean, what's the next big thing uh, that you guys are working on? Yeah, so uh, what I'm showing you guys today is kind of like um, – where we could take our technology, right, like uh, a lot of the digital brokers and what they're doing and and give it to a shipper and say, you act as the broker to your brokers and you become the marketplace. And ultimately, you know, leverage that. And if we can get this enough, uh, like if you look at um, our carrier platform, we're introducing this thing called connections. And it's like this LinkedIn thing where brokers and shippers could invite each other to their networks. And when this is connected to the dispatch, to the proof of delivery, to the accounting, so now you're conquering multiple pillars, right? There are really neat things we're working on down the line, like a dynamic RFP that could go out in batches and not be all year and be quarterly or monthly and have multiple stakeholders working. But what really what we need in the future is enough shippers to understand that we're a different creature and to get in these pilots like a lot of the Fortune 100s have gotten us in with and, and let us actually talk the talk instead of walk the walk. But Brett we Dice, built it. Yeah, definitely. Brett Dice ahead. Uh, how does our audience reach out and learn more about uh, Zoom and, and the, the technology? Yeah, it's super easy. Uh, you could just uh, go to our website, which is uh, Zoom app. Dot com. Uh, my name is Mustafa Azizi. I'm on LinkedIn. That seems to be the most, uh, it's not hard to find us. You just, yeah. if you build it, they will come. <laughs> You're exactly right. So you can find Mustafa on LinkedIn. You can get a Zoom transportation. Thank you so much for your time today. It's, uh, as always, Thank it's a pleasure. Too. Yeah, I can't wait till next time. Yeah, definitely. Thank you again. That's uh, Zoom Transportation. They're doing a lot of of great uh, technology and dissertation of the the supply chain. Uh, And and all of that, all the great technology that's coming out, uh, the end goal is certainly to reduce those empty miles, reduce carbon emissions, and uh, be be, be great for the environment. Uh, We have a great number of sessions coming up this afternoon. Uh, Coming up right now, we're going to talk about renewable natural gas with our very own Alan Adler our Detroit Bureau Chief here at Freight Waves, and Hugh Donnell, who is at Cummins, and Cummins is is going to discuss what they're doing in RNG. So let's uh, keep the ball rolling on Earth Day. I got friends, only want to talk business. I got expenses, the wind is expensive. I got expenses, the wind is expensive. I've been reading all the work, and I've been shutting out the stars.